Yeah, man. Well, you know, we got to talk about one thing. Uh, I got I got dragged. You got roasted. I man. got roasted on Facebook <laughs> and Twitter too, right? Yo, I put it now. My Instagram Twitter, too? my my Twitter is linked to my Facebook. Okay. Now, if I would have put it on Instagram, they they would have they would have dragged me uh. even more. Yo, they they rip yo. Social what? media. This is the first time that my that like they literally like roasted me. I felt like I felt like one of those chickens at Boston Rotisserie just in there, <laughs> just getting spun cooking over and over and over and over. <laughs> and over. I was a golden brown. So let, let let everyone know what what why were people so upset at you, man? All right. Well, you know what? I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna log into Facebook and and uh, and tell you uh, how many people. I mean, they went in on me. It was it was crazy, but um, I posted on on. That was Twitter. one of those people, by the way. I, I, I didn't verbalize it because I knew I'd have the opportunity to do it live on the show. Yeah, that's why I saved it for a little <laughs> while. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, yeah. Let me go. Let me go to this joint, man. I literally now my Twitter is linked to my Facebook. Okay. Um, and you know so you couldn't I was, escape it. No, nah, no, nah, I wasn't escaping anything. The fact of the matter is, um. You know, I was looking and I was just like, you know, the the show was on because I think it was like the how many years ago was it? Uh, Thirty two years ago. Thirty two years ago. Thirty two yeah. years ago, um, the the movie the what's it called? Again? The Last Dragon. The Last Dragon was Ty released Mock. with Ty Mock. You had him on the show. I did. You know, yeah, yeah. You Shout had him on your show. Yeah. Shout out to your show. Um, Hangover takeover. Hangover takeover. Yeah, that's coming on after us. Um, yeah, man. So I posted, you know, I don't, I don't care what you say. I was like, <laughs> I, I said, The Last Dragon is a terrible film. See, I feel like when you when you phrase it like that, people, it's it's automatic, like clickbait, you know, people knee jerk reaction. What do you mean it's a terrible film? But I had an opportunity to talk to you behind the scenes before the show about what, what you meant. And, and you being a, a real film connoisseur, you, you letting me know that you, you were doing this acting thing even before you were doing this. Yeah, I started thing. out as being an actor. That so, you, you really meant as far as the production and quality of the movie. No, the production, I mean, for, for the money, I mean, what, what was it? $10 million the budget was, and they made $25 million, so they made their money back. I'm Definitely. not saying that. Shout out to Barry Gordy. Yeah, Barry Gordy got that paycheck. <laughs> but, you, but, but what I was saying was... For what it was, the acting wasn't great. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? It's a cult film. That doesn't make it a great film. Don't get me wrong. When I but watched when you it, you preface it as when I watched just, it when I was five years old, Gypsy. It's uh, different than when I'm over thirty. You understand what I'm saying? See, people are cheering for you. Your, your, your notebook is cheering for the movie. It ain't cheering for your opinion because your, your opinion sucks. Yo, come on. Come on, fam. <laughs> Listen. So I said on Twitter, mm -hmm. I said, I don't care what you say. The Last Dragon is a terrible film, period. And while we're at it, so is The Wiz. Now I got <laughs> drag. Yo. Double drag, though. Just double, triple drag, kid. Double dragon. It was crazy. It was crazy. But listen, I got, damn. It was like over 100 comments, and every comment had, you know, more replies under it. What, so it was over a hundred. It was like over a hundred comments. So let me get this right. You went on social media, the place where people are the most sensitive and literally attacked a cult classic that everyone loves. I didn't attack anything. I yes, just you said, did. No, it's not an attack. All you had to do it's was put, at the end of it, just put sad. <laughs> you know, I'm Trump not putting sad. Yo, my dude, <laughs> uh, listen. This is the analogy that I gave you before the show started. Mm -hmm. Now, in March 1985, right? Yes. Last Dragon came out. Yes. Barry Gordy produced the film. That how was how old were you in 1985? I was five years old. Okay. So, Barry Gordy, you know, uh, he's the Motown extraordinaire. <laughs> he was the man back in the day. Barry Gordy presents. Barry Gordy presents. Berry Gordy presents. That's the name of the, the movie. The Last Dragon. It's not called The Last Dragon. It's called Berry Gordy. Berry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Right. So, you know, all that money went in his pocket. That's one. Number two is, okay, March 1985, that was released. Mm -hmm. Now, the movie was directed by, uh, I think it was Martin Sh Shrank, Shrink, whatever. Okay. It was, it, it, it was a, it, it was a cocaine, okay, it was a, not, well, listen, we, I, you know, I don't want to bring race into it. No. But, all right. So it was directed, it wasn't directed by a black director. It wasn't Spike Lee. It wasn't, it wasn't Don Singleton. See, were you thinking this at okay, five wait, years wait, wait, old? Hold on, that's I, well, my hold on, thing, hold on, hold on. though. 
but the time that this movie should have impacted you the most as a child, let me it should get, have just let me, let me get been to attached the, to your imagination. No, no, and let the me get to the, Hold on, let me get to the. Let me get to it. Now, when I was young. To be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't going around going to who's the master. Show sure enough, I, I thought it was silly. When I was a kid, I mean, it was fun to watch. Yeah, but you but know, it used watching, to come on every day on HBO. Yeah, but even watching like Bruce HBO Lee had movies no, had and no. Kung Fu movies, they they were they were. I love watching lamp- Kung Fu movies. Right, from- and we pretended to be that, even though we knew like they had strings I'd on them. I'd rather watch and- the Kung Fu movies that came on Channel Five. On Saturday, I think you self hating, man. I'm not self hating. Now self-hating. I'm gonna put it like this: So 1985, March 1985, that film was made, okay. right? Yeah. And only a, a, a six, eight months later, December 1985, mm-hmm. another movie produced by Quincy Jones. Okay. So Quincy and Barry, you can put it in the same category. Both producers, Absolutely. both make great, great, great music legends, from their icons. legends, mm-hmm. icons. Absolutely. He produced a film called The Color Purple the same year. So can you put those two films saying one is just as good as the other? No, you can't. But that's right. like comparing. Um, I'm just trying to think of a cult classic movie. You know, uh, Fast Times and Ridgemont High. Okay. Or or. Um, so you want to? Uh, okay. Or, so or, fast. Or, uh, fast. Or Times Deep or- Cover. Or something like that. I mean, not deep cover. That was a great film. But like, but I'm just saying, you know, cult classics are known to be shitty movies. That, that everybody loves? Everyone loves later on down well, the line. I, I'd rather watch Coffee Brown. I'd rather. Well, of course, man. I mean, l- listen, I don't wake up every morning watching, uh, 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 you know, um, Bruce Leroy. But when it comes on every now and then, or I if mean, I'm in the uh, mood, yeah, yeah. I'll throw I, it on yeah, and I okay. get into it 110%. Listen, I do the same thing, but I can still look at it. You and make go, it, no, but you make it sound like you wouldn't even look at it. I'm, I'm, I, I looked at it a lot. I haven't watched it in many years. Yo, dude, I'm talking about my my parents were like the only people that had cable in the house with that old oh, so that you plastic had Gerard, Gerard box. You remember the one with the with <laughs> the little with the, with the little three? Yes, I can hear the click the noise. The click noise every time that you press down. Absolutely. It went from two. Well, it went from two to thirteen on top. And it had the 14. channels with the different rows yeah, on it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. Exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what I had in the crib. So don't get me wrong. It used to be on HBO. Didn't have any content back in the day. No, in the eighties no. and nineties. No, they played all B movies. That's true, but the acting was terrible. Vanity couldn't act her way out of a paper bag. Of course not. All right, and Ty Mac, big shout but out for to you. Ty- but, but go ahead. I mean, Ty Mac was good, but he was playing a a a. a, a but you for know, you to judge a movie when you were five, to judge a movie now as a, as a full formed adult, okay, based on how you see the world now on a movie you saw when you were five is unfair. Okay, but when I was a teenager, I didn't rewatch it. I didn't like it then. When I was twelve and thirteen, I was just man, like, eh. man, who stole your childhood, man? Yo, my dude, it's just I'm a very critical person. Clearly, I was being, okay, but I've been dude, critical. What, I mean, what are some of your top cult classic movies? Uh, the Long Kiss Goodnight. Great movie. Gina Davis. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. Okay. That's where Charlie Baltimore got a name. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Great movie. Okay. There you go. That, but that was actually a good film. That was a great film. Great script. Nah. She was one trashed. of the first. It got dragged. I know. It, it got was, dragged. It was one of the first, like, uh, contemporary movies where the lead was, was a chick. You know. For- what they do. They are part of the fabric. Stop hating. We can force you to watch BAPS. Now, damn, the, yeah. damn, Baps is, whew. and people like that. That's some, some people, terrible. not me, but <laughs> I think that movie, that movie is number two to her Catwoman because Catwoman was straight trash. Oh yeah, that's, well after following, uh, Pitoff, that's the director of. Uh, he only had one name, and he never got to direct another movie after that. No, the girl, trash. The, who's the first Catwoman? Uh, I mean, the, the the. You mean movie wise? In the movie. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, thank you. Not yeah, Michelle name. Pfeiffer. So listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Call in, put the put it on the TV oh, yeah. screen. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, man. You know, you know what it is. <laughs> hey, bruh. How do you man? You know, listen, man. He had the glow, man. I mean He didn't you didn't obviously you didn't feel empowered by it. You didn't I mean, see I, you didn't see him as as a black role model. Nah, not really, man. Okay. I That's looked at fair. my pops as a black role model. <laughs> well, all right. Well, you're fortunate. Hey, brother. All right. Well, listen, man. <laughs> Yo, I got dragged. People. Y'all don't understand. They dragged my ass up and down 
every corridor of social media, they drag my ass. You gonna think over. twice? You gonna think twice? Think twice. <laughs> I speak my mind whenever, wherever, however. All right. It is what it is, All man. Right. It is what it is. But you know what? We got our sponsor today. Yes, we do. Yeah.